There are several ways of showing new views in SwiftUI, and one of the most basic is a sheet. A new view is presented on top of our existing one. Now in iOS, this automatically creates a sort of card-like presentation where the current view slides away into the distance a little bit, and the other view appears animated on top. Now sheets work much like alerts in that we don't present them directly by saying my sheet dot show or similar. Instead, we define the conditions under which a sheet should be visible, should be shown right here. And when those conditions become true or false, the sheet will be presented or dismissed respectively. Let's start with a simple example, which will show one view from another using a sheet. First, we make the view we want to show inside, ins inside the sheet, inside the sheet. You're not helping dog, <laughs> inside the sheet. I'll say there's a new view up here called second view. Second view, dog, view. And then I'll do var body uh, is some view, text, second view, like that. There is nothing special about that view at all, right? It hasn't, doesn't know it's gonna be shown in the sheet. It has no idea it's gonna be shown anything at all. It doesn't need to, we don't care. Next, we'll create our initial view, this one down here, the one that shows the sheet. We'll make it simple and add things to it. We'll say button show sheet, show sheet, show sheet, show sheet, show the sheet. Uh, now filling this in requires four steps and we'll tackle them individually. First, we need some state to track whether the sheet is showing or not. As with alerts, this is gonna be a simple Boolean. So we'll add this to our uh, content view now. At state, private var, showing sheet equals false. Second, we want to toggle that boolean when our button's tapped. So we'll say showing sheet dot toggle as our button action. Third, we've got to attach this sheet somewhere to our view hierarchy. Now, if you remember, we show alerts using is presented with a two way binding back to some state property. We use something almost identical here. Just sheet is presented. There's no title anymore. Uh, sheets are modified just like alert. So go ahead and say on the button dot sheet is presented dollar showing sheet. And then inside here is the content of our sheet. Now, fourth, the last step is to decide what should actually be in the sheet. In our case, we know exactly what should be in the sheet because we want to create and show an instance of second view. And in code, that means writing, well, second view. And that's it. If you're on the code now, we should be able to tap on show sheet to show second view correctly. So we'll get this kind of effect all being well. There we go. Beautiful. So you can see the first one fades away a little bit, goes backwards, new one slides over. You can then just drag it down to dismiss it. Now when you make a view like this, you can pass in any parameters it has to work with. For example, we could say uh, second view needs to have a name string attached to it. So we can greet them in this view by saying, hello, name. And now, just using second view down here alone isn't enough. We're gonna pass in a name string to work with. For example, we might say, name is at two straws. And now we're passing the value and it'll show hello two straws all being well. And we'll find out now, there we go. So Swift's doing a ton of work on our behalf here. You know, as soon as we said, second view has to have a name property right here, Swift ensured we could not create one of those things without passing in a name. It wouldn't even build until everywhere you use second view with no parameters or second view with name, some name, which eliminates a whole range of errors that were very, very common in Apple's older frameworks like UIKit and AppKit. Now, before we move on, I wanna show you one more thing, which is how to make a view dismiss itself. Now, you've seen this view here appears as a little slide over thing, and you can swipe down to dismiss it, but sometimes you'll want to dismiss views programmatically. To make the view go away, because a button was pressed, for example. To dismiss one view, we're gonna add another property wrapper. And I realize this is so often a solution with Swift UI is just have another property wrapper. Um, anyway, this new one is called at environment and it allows us to create properties that store values provided to us externally by the system. 
is the user in light mode or dark mode right now? Have they asked for larger or smaller fonts? What time zone are they on? All these and more are provided for, to us from the environment. And in this instance, we're gonna ask the environment to dismiss our view. Now, yes, we do have to ask the environment to dismiss our view because it might have been presented in any number of ways. We're effectively saying, figure out how this view is presented, then dismiss it appropriately because the environment knows what's up. So let's try this out. We're gonna add this new property to second view now. At environment, backslash dot dismiss, var dismiss. And now we're gonna replace our little hello name thing here in second view with a button title dismiss and the action dismiss. And calling that tells the SwiftUI environment, this view is done, get rid of it. Whatever that means appropriately, just show it and hide it appropriately. So I press dismiss now, it'll just slide away automatically. 